Okay, so I've got um, a bit of a problem with my Martin guitar. It's a uh, model DCPA4. Um, it sounds. I thought it might be a, a fret buzz, but or a, a saddle buzz. I'm not not quite sure of. Doesn't look like it's catching on the fret. Um, but anyway, this is the problem. I've got. Uh, So what I decided to do, I, I was going to get um, my man Chris Eccleshaw to do a setup, but at the moment he's not very well, so uh, and he can't do anything for a couple of months, and it, it's really been bugging me. So um, I decided that I would order a new saddle for it. Um, I had a little look online, and uh, I've just had the saddle arrive today. Um, so. I'll go through what, what I did and um, replace the saddle and see whether or not it makes any difference. So these are the tools you're going to need. Um, this is caliper to measure the uh, actual size of the saddle that you've got currently in the guitar. Um, that just helps get the, the saddle and the pins out. Um, and that's obviously a winder for the strings, new set of strings. Um, Although I'm actually going to replace the saddle on this one um, with this and keep those strings on there um, and see whether or not there's any difference. And if not, I'll uh, stick a new set of strings because the um, you're actually getting some string separation. You feel it on the back of the as you run your finger up. Um, so I think the, the frets could probably do with a little bit of a scallop or polish or whatever it is and um, they have been done once and it's been an ongoing problem with the strings which also you know that string separation can cause the those those overtones as well um, but I have changed the strings in the past and um, it hasn't it hasn't made any difference really to that um, so anyway um, next bit is uh, the kit that uh, I ordered online so here it is this is what we've got uh, come through. Uh, that's the chap that I ordered it from. There's a fitting a guitar saddle CD there. That's another one of his cards. Um, it's kind of a little bit of a polishing abrasive sanding pack there. And the saddle in here, so I'll just get that one out. Okay, so there's the placement saddle, all nicely packaged. Okay, and some bump, and that one, that's the shipping. Uh, saddle replacement advice sheet, a bit of information on there. Another bits and bobs. What's that? All right, that's just a packing thing. Right. Okay. So uh, now I'll take the um, saddle off and uh, compare them. Okay. So I've, I've loosened all the strings, um, and uh, one tip is to use a, a capo here just to hold the strings in place if you're going to keep the same strings on there. Um, next thing to do is to pop. I've loosened the pins here so that they come out easily. Um, the best thing to I find to use is something with a, a V edge there so you can gently pop it underneath and then lift up and then you can pop the pop the strings out some people take them up um, right now this should come out with fingers but there's not enough there so um, a little bit of this over the, the edge 
edge there just to give it some mind you I'm replacing that one so hopefully uh, okay so it comes out quite uh, quite easily There's nothing underneath that's the the old bridge and uh, I'll do the measurements now of the uh, the, the bridge Okay, so you're going to need one of these, ideally. Um, and one of the best things to do is to pop the, the old saddle on there and then put it up against some light and see whether or not there's any gap between... Oh, that's interesting that there is... I can see quite a bit of lights in the central portion there. But when you push it down onto the surface, that light disappears. So I wonder whether or not there's a... Anyway, so to measure, we want uh, probably best to get a little pad for this. Okay, sorry, it's not a very good, not a very good drawing, but, and it's in reverse. <laughs> so anyway, we've got uh, different dimensions on here. We've got the actual width along the edge, right way up, of the, the saddle. And then we've got the height, which is from the midpoint across here, highest point. Sometimes if you're gonna actually change the, uh, the height of the, the uh, action, then you might wanna order it slightly deeper and then sand it down to where you, where you want it if, if there's any fret buzz. Uh, I ordered the, the replacement exactly the same um, dimensions. And then the other is obviously the length, side to side. And then there's an awkward bit here, which is the drop, which is the distance between the low E, sorry, the high E even, <laughs> and the low E. So between the first and the sixth strings there'll be a drop. Uh, mine was one millimeter. Um, and obviously, you know, you use this device, a bit of a sort of a slide rule. I think you can get digital versions. It's quite difficult doing this against the light. But anyway, measure the length measure the width probably an idea to do that along the whole edge get an idea of uh, or alternatively you could use this section here the top bit sorry here and measure the inside of the actual hole uh, that the saddle fits in anyway so they're the again they're the dimensions that you need height length, width and the drop. Okay, we'll bring back this gump. I've had a look at the fitting the guitar saddle. It shows you pretty much what, what, what I've been showing you. Um, Loosen the, the strings and how to pop the saddle out. Uh, that's, hopefully I won't need those, although he does say to use the Scotch Bright, which I think is that one, to polish the top edge where the strings go over so that they um, slide a little more easily when you tighten and loosen the strings. All right. Okay, so I'll just see a comparison. That's pretty good. Hopefully the bottom edge of this one is okay. Well, there's a bit of light on that one as well. So maybe they're supposed to flex a little bit. I don't know. I'm not really. I'm just an amateur <laughs> trying to sort a buzz problem out on my guitar. All right. Anyway, so I think the next thing to do is to uh, 
I'm just going to put it in straight without polishing anything and see see how it is. Um, yeah, easiest thing, isn't it? Probably should give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a clean. So, which way round does it go? <laughs> Compensated's on the on the higher section. The compensation's the little indent there. That goes up to the higher E on the first string. So it goes that way around. Let's see if it fits. straight in. That's good. Let's get some light on there. Great having these lights on. And now I need my glasses. Not very good is it? <laughs> right, that will do though. Tiny, tiny bit of a gap. This tiniest gap though, this side. Hopefully that won't cause a problem. So yeah, maybe the best thing is to over, just, you know, give a, a point naught something extra in the thickness and then you can sand it down and get it exactly to fit, but I'm going to try that anyway. So I'm going to pop the uh, pop the strings back in. Make sure they're not tangled. I'm probably going to need a new set of strings. They're looking a bit ropey. You can see. I don't know whether you can see that, but let's see if I can expand it a little bit. Oh no, it's not working. No. Oh well, never mind. But, I don't know whether you can see the separation on the strings there. I did ask Chris whether or not one should notch the saddle so that the strings sort of, you know, a little area for the strings to sit in, but he said apparently the strings will notch themselves, um, so you're better off not doing it so that's what we're doing we're not doing pins and pegs back in okay so all the pegs are back in now it's a case of tightening the strings up now So uh, that's a bit of a bummer. I'm going to 
test that string as well, but there you go, it was already, so maybe that was the problem as well. Let's try this one. It's still got that buzz though, isn't it? Tied to a response though from the... Uh, put a new set of strings on and um, see if that makes any difference. <laughs> we'll get there. Okay, so I've tuned it up. Um, they're much cleaner. Sounds so bad with the um, when you. Still there though, isn't it? The cat's not liking it very much. <laughs> oh, sorry, Misty. Um, well, there you have it. Um, have to change the saddle on uh, on a Martin guitar. Definitely recommend this chap though, Chris. Oh, that way. Chris Allsop, that's bloody back to front, isn't it? It says Chris Allsop guitars, um, and the number is on there. Um, you can find his uh, website uh, by putting in chrisallsopguitar.co.uk. Okay, cheers then. <laughs>